Now, if you're going to be in the New York area and would like free tickets to Rolanda, well, please call us at 212-650-2060. For the temptation of having an affair with another lover can certainly shatter any relationship. Geraldine is visiting us from Chicago and she has quite a story to tell. She had an affair, she says, then left her husband, her home, and her eight children for her new love. Geraldine says that her children, who are now all grown up, still practically hate you for that one moment in your life. Geraldine, I got to say, eight children? Yes. Who was this man who walked in your life and took you from all of that? Goodness. Well, he wasn't Superman, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Superman was my ex-husband. Um, our relationship was dissolving already. You and your husband? Yes. And I became ungrateful, dissatisfied and kept all the focus on what he was doing and nothing on what I wasn't doing. I had no idea that what I had produced in this relationship was just everything centering around my children and my husband. Mm -hmm. Nothing on me. And I got lonely. I would call um, the minister of my church and tell him how lonely I was. He said, well, where is your husband? I said, He'd be, he's laying right here. For one year, I slept um, the whole year. I could sleep all day and sleep all night. So you were depressed? Well, if I was rich, I would have known that, but I wasn't rich, so I just thought I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But so basically, you're, you're, the, all of the oomph had gone out of the relationship. You'd spent so much time dedicating to your family that you had not centered on yourself. And then all of a sudden, one day, somebody came along, and what... I would think this person probably started paying you some attention. A lot. A lot of attention. What did he do? Would you believe he listened? Mm, something um, that simple. That simple. My ex-husband never had any time because he was too busy working and getting, um, he's an electrician. Mm -hmm. He had mm. marks Thank all you. on his hands. from. Pulling wire. He was tired. Yeah. He, he was just too tired because he was. This is not for your sympathy. I just feel real bad about what I did. Please don't feel sorry for me. Just don't do it. Um. He was a very. He was. He was exhausted. Damn. I mean, he worked all day. Mm -hmm. What's making you cry right now? Because I thought about it. I think about it all the time, and my children won't let me forget it. You say that you fear that your children have lost all respect for you. Not fear, it's the fact. Mm -hmm. They won't let me forget it. Mm -hmm. So if you had to do it all over again, how would you have handled the situation? I would have been woman enough to say this is it. I mean, it's over. There's nothing else going on in, in this camp. Who was the man who came along and swept you off your feet at that time? A player. Of course. He was a player. Oh, oh, all the angles. Every angle there was, he knew it. Mm -hmm. And I don't hold that against him. I mean, if you're out there, they're out there too, you know. And he found me at home, and I was always home. Mm -hmm. I was always home. And I guess you can say that my husband and I both were very naive. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for him, but he used to take me to meet him. He would take you to meet your lover, and he didn't know he was taking you to meet your lover? <laughs> So you played mm. your husband, your family, and a whole lot of folks around town, too. You can say that. Mm. I mean, the truth is the light. Why I'm here today is because maybe if I talk about it mm -hmm. and my children, maybe they can forgive me. Not just forgiveness, but this is the last time I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to ask forgiveness for it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I cannot turn back the hands of time. Um, and I desire to go on my life, and they keep badgering me with it. I mean, they keep beating me with it. Every time I do anything wrong, or they do anything wrong, mm -hmm. and I talk to them about it, they always sling it back in my face again, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I'm fed up. I feel like I'm getting an ulcer behind it. These are adult children that have chosen their own lives, and they choose to feel like whatever I did is the cause of them doing what they have done. Mm -hmm. I understand that even when your children are, are cheating, 
that they and you try to say don't do that I've been there don't go there please don't go there. they turn to you and they say well you did it pretty much yeah Mike I wanted to say that women are held to a different standard than men are you know you have men out here as I said that fathers cheat all the time and nobody ever points a finger at dad mm -hmm. but let mom step out there then she's a whore with anything else and everybody criticizes her mm -hmm. that's how society is I'm not saying it's right I'm not saying it's wrong but it's very good that, first of all, we have a woman that's admitting that she's doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that people see how painful it is because families are destroyed over this. That's and in the right. book, although I write, write about why men cheat, there's a chapter called Pay to Play. The gentleman here I thought was very articulate in talking about the diseases. I mean, running rampant, 70,000 new AIDS cases, 300,000 chlamydia. I mean, it's really running rampant. It's very important that what she's saying is a lot of people pay attention because families are being destroyed over infidelity. Susan. But what we have to say is why this happened to her. And it happened because, and this is what is important, it happened because she was so lonely and she felt so ignored. And the lover became a fantasy. Mm -hmm. He listened and he was there and it was magical and there was nothing ordinary about the relationship. I mean, is that an excuse though? No, it's not But an it's excuse. the reason. It's, it's the reason. Because men happened. say, hey, I was lonely and then he does it. You don't but, find but this kind Michael, of sympathy. Michael, you have to understand what I'm just being honest about Listen it. what Susan is saying. Then. I'm saying that the motivation for so many women is that they're so alone within the marriage or within a long-standing relationship and they don't know what what to do and where to turn mm -hmm. and then this man comes along and he is a fantasy and, and he does notice she's at home a lot and he does notice and that he has the time and whatever the husband isn't or the long-standing lover isn't you know the husband <laughs> then this man is when we come back um, we were able to get one of your daughters to join us on the phone and I'd like to talk with her a bit about what she has gone through in all of this, and maybe she will give you forgiveness on the show. We'll talk to her right after this. We'll be right back.